Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR and my YouTube channel. On uh, my last post I had WSJTX running with Rumlog NG and uh, we did a little automation uh, with Rumlog NG. So uh, now I want to add Grid Tracker to the mix. Uh, Rumlog NG, WSJTX, and Grid Tracker. But when I add Grid Tracker to the mix, I, I lose the ability to start the transmission automatically with Rumlog when I'm using the uh, the auto setting in uh, the network status. And take a look at my last article. I'll put a, a link below. But you lose the ability to do that, and that's really okay because what I like about Grid Tracker is using the call roster right up here. And I've got other videos on Grid Tracker, and there are uh, lots of good things in Grid Tracker. So uh, I do lose that ability, but that's okay. Uh, let me show you the changes I had to make. I just have to make uh, a, a couple of changes in port settings, and one of them is in Grid Tracker. I'm going to go to Settings here and I'm going to enable this, the uh, forward UDP messages and uh, it's the uh, local host, it's 127.0.0.1 and port 2238. So I don't have to do anything to WSJTX but 2238 in there and then in RUM log, let me show you I'm going to go to preferences and on the UDP tab I have uh, the CAT uh, port in here, 7374, and I don't have it over here on the uh, general tab, or not the general, the, the uh, uh, transceiver tab. I don't have start DX Lab Suite Commander. I don't need it starting twice, and that's my understanding. So I just have it selected on this page with WSJTX. And I'm using DX Lab Suite Commander as the rig or the radio in WSJTX. And uh, if you don't know what I mean, have a look at that last article that I posted or that last video. Uh, so I've got that set up, and then I have the port in here. This was 2237. I just changed it to 2238, and uh, we'll get Grid uh, Grid Tracker working. You can see uh, it's receiving. This is receiving uh, from grid, uh, WSJTX. And then when I make a contact, it forwards it to uh, Rumlog NG. So just those two settings, and I have another post on my website. It's got the screen capture, so have a look at it. It's k0pir.us. Let me see if I can make a contact real quick. I just have to click on that once, and it'll start the transmission. It brings up uh, the... Uh, logbook and it puts his call sign in there and I get the name in QTH but when I use WSJTX to log it I lose that and uh, if you want that in there you can add it later after the fact you can go back and add the QSO data and let me show you what I mean see if he comes back to me nope I'm gonna try this again uh, give him another call and what I like about uh, this call roster as well, you can see up here, they're each just calling CQ. He's not calling CQDX. It's not directed to anybody, not directed to Russia or the UK. Um, so uh, let's see if uh, he comes back to me. Nope, he's not going to come back to me. But uh, when I do log him, uh, it'll go over into my log book. Uh, right in here I just logged one a minute ago and I put his name in because I don't get the name when I log with WSJTX if you want to add it later you can go back and add the QSO data later by selecting uh, the the row and then uh, go up to QSO and add QSO data and I use QRZ and it pops them up He's in Op, Alabama. And I want to make sure that the grid is right. EM61. Let me cancel that. Uh, yeah, that's what he gave me. EM61. So uh, we're good there. I can go ahead and uh, overwrite that data. And there you go. Now I've got his QTH in there. Uh, let me try another one. I'm using the call roster again. Oh, there's a good one. Let's see if I can get him. 
He's down in San Antonio. I ought to be able to get him. I got a good uh, pathway down to Texas. That's where he is. Yep. So the grid square that he's giving me right now it may be different than what is in uh, QRZ. So if I overwrite uh, his, I may end up with the wrong grid square. But he is returning uh, the call. He's giving me a, a minus 13. I'm sending him a minus 17. We can see it over here on the map. There's the path. I always have a good path down to Texas. And let's see if we get a Roger Roger. Oh, he didn't return my call. You can see uh, some more uh, communications going on here. The black is the uh, QSX. Uh, just what I'm hearing. Well, I lost him. Uh, let me try another one. I'm going to call him one more time. I'm just on the edge of this other station, I guess. I don't know if anybody's transmitting when I am. I, he's uh, way down here. I might scoot over just a little bit and pick him up. Uh, the runaway watchdog got me. So I moved down just a little bit and I'll give him another call. Well, I heard him that time. And if I want to, I can take a look, bring it up here. Take a look. All right, got him that time. Sent the 73 back, so I have to remember to log the QSO. Go ahead and log it, and I put the transmit power in there. I can put his name in there. Uh, what was his name? Uh, Terry. And there we go, N3VXM, and it put his name in there for me, but it didn't get his QTH, because again, it, it's pulling it from WSJTX, and WSJTX doesn't pull that uh, from the database. Okay, well, I hope you find this informative and useful. Thanks for watching. I'll be traveling this month to Arizona, so you follow my travels on Instagram or Facebook. It's just K0PIR. And I'll be down at uh, Quartz Fest. So if you haven't already, subscribe below and you'll ring that bell. And you'll be notified when I put out videos on Quartz Fest. Okay, 73 and good DX.